Have you ever wondered how scientists push the boundaries of reality, uncovering phenomena that seem straight out of science fiction? In the world of quantum physics, a groundbreaking discovery has just been made. For the first time ever, scientists in China have successfully demonstrated counterflow superfluidity, an exotic quantum state that could transform the future of quantum technologies. So what exactly is counterflow superfluidity? Imagine two streams of particles flowing in opposite directions, perfectly synchronized like dancers in a quantum ballet. Despite this intricate motion, the system as a whole remains stationary, incompressible and coherent. This remarkable quantum phenomenon was theorized over two decades ago, but no one had been able to observe it until now. To understand counterflow superfluidity, we first need to look back. In the 1930s, scientists like Pyotr Kapitsa discovered superfluidity, a state where liquid helium flows without resistance at extremely low temperatures. It was a revolutionary moment in quantum physics, paving the way for breakthroughs in low temperature technologies like laser cooling and superconductors. Fast forward to the early 2000s and physicists began theorizing a new quantum phase, counterflow superfluidity. Turning that theory into reality, however, would take decades of innovation until today. Researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences achieved this groundbreaking discovery using ultra-cold rubidium-87 atoms. To create the conditions for counterflow superfluidity, they employed a meticulous three-step process. First, the atoms were cooled to an astonishingly low temperature near absolute zero, just one nanokelvin, making the system even colder than outer space. Next, lasers were used to create an optical lattice forming a grid-like pattern that trapped the atoms in fixed positions. Finally, the researchers split the atoms into two distinct spin states and fine-tuned their interactions. Initially, the system was in a frozen quantum state known as a spin mod insulator, where particles are localized and unable to move freely. However, with precise adjustments, the two components began flowing in opposite directions with perfect synchronization. This marked the realization of counterflow superfluidity in action. Proving this phenomenon was challenging, requiring the use of a quantum gas microscope to observe individual atoms with precision. The scientists discovered anti-pair correlations where one atom's movement was mirrored by another moving in the opposite direction. They also observed long-range coherence with the system staying synchronized across large distances. These findings provided definitive proof of counterflow superfluidity. Counterflow superfluidity isn't just a scientific curiosity. It's a gateway to understanding quantum systems and could revolutionize technology. It could lead to more powerful, efficient quantum computers. Researchers can use it to study spin dynamics and many-body interactions. It opens doors to designing materials with exotic quantum properties. Just as superfluidity in the 1930s laid the foundation for modern technologies, Counterflow, superfluidity could shape the future of quantum science. While research groups in the US, Europe and Japan have explored related states like Bose-Einstein condensates, none have demonstrated counterflow superfluidity in a lab. By combining ultra-cold rubidium atoms, optical lattices and quantum gas microscopy, Chinese researchers have set a new benchmark in the global quantum race. The future of quantum physics is here and it's flowing in two directions at once. What do you think this discovery means for the future of technology? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.